2018 was one of those years for me that I will never forget. In the span of five months, my wife and I bought our first house, we renovated that first house, welcomed our first child into the world, and I was in and out of the hospital to finally have major surgery to have one of my kidneys removed. Yeah, it was crazy. And I don't have enough time to tell you some of the details of all of that that made it even crazier, but it was by far the most stress-filled and anxiety-stricken season of my life. Before 2018, I never really wrestled with anxiety. Stress, like everyone else, sure, but for the first time in my life, I was waking up in the middle of the night anxious, not able to turn my brain off. For the first time in my life, I experienced panic attacks. And I'd like to say that since 2018, I've been good. But the truth is, I still have my moments and seasons where I struggle. What about you? How are the stress and anxiety levels in your life? What areas of your life are being impacted? How are you feeling? What I wanna do is share one scripture that was big for me, but before I jump in, let me be clear. Stress and anxiety, it's a really complex issue. You can experience anxiety and not have clinical anxiety. All of us are on the spectrum somewhere with that, and the answer to all mental health concerns isn't just to pray it away. Counseling, therapy, and maybe even medication might be a part of your journey. I believe in a holistic approach, and the only thing I'm qualified to speak into as a pastor is the spiritual side of the conversation. So what I want to simply do is just to remind you of another tool that we can put on our tool belt to help us walk through seasons of stress and anxiety. And I'm gonna give you one tool, and particularly one verse that was helpful for me. In Philippians chapter four, the apostle Paul tells us to not be anxious in anything, but in every situation by prayer and petition with thanksgiving to present our requests to God. The things that are causing you stress or anxiety, get in the practice of giving it to God out loud in prayer. Look beyond yourself because you can't, I can't. Offer it up to the one that can. Be specific, be honest, be real. I love what C.S. Lewis wrote, pray what is in you, not what ought to be in you. And when we do, the peace of God, which doesn't make any sense, will guard our hearts and our minds in Christ Jesus. That word guard is a military term that means to build a garrison around and protect. It's a peace that transcends human understanding. How does it work? I don't know, but I do know that when I give it to God, when I continually daily give it to God, when my heart and attitude expresses utter dependence on God, there is this peace that guards my mind and my heart from unhelpful and hurtful thinking. God becomes bigger than my what ifs, bigger than my fears. And the peace of God that brings perspective, that brings truth, guards your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus as well. If you've enjoyed this video, click the thumbs up icon and comment below. We love hearing from you. Please help Trinity reach out to others and share this video with a friend by clicking the share link below. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel and click the bell for notifications so you don't miss anything. God bless your day.